All right, you guys, welcome to another episode of Loans Can Be Fun podcast. We have Jeff Arnell with Columbia Pest Control with us. He's going to tell us what we need to know and what we shouldn't know. No, I'm just kidding. All the secrets. All, all the secrets of pest control. So kind of just give us the skinny on your business, what you do, and then we'll start asking you a bunch of crazy questions. Pest control is pretty standard. Yeah. You know, you have something that's bothering you, bugs, which is predominantly when it comes here, pest control, it's... Yeah. I've got box elder bugs. I've got yeah. a mouse. I've got wasps. But it also it also goes into more detail of things like wildlife. You know, I've got a raccoon in my chimney. I've got a bird okay. nesting in my roof line, you know. Mm. But also I didn't know you guys dealt with that. Uh, I don't deal with wildlife because yeah. it's a Isn't it like illegal on some of them? It's not well, okay, yeah, there are some animals that are protected by the state. And so okay. you have to be really careful. And there were too many incidences where when you're trying to deal with bats and you mm -hmm. can't kill them because they're protected, they're protected. why are they protected? Don't know. You know right. Call your congressman. <laughs> um, uh, they, if you kill one accidentally, you can still be fined. You can lose your license. Oh, and so I said, I I'm out. I I'm, not, I'm not taking a chance of losing right. my ability to take care of my family because of a bat right. that was protected 40 years ago. And so I wonder what the populations are doing now. We'll oh, they're fine. They're, they're fine. fine yeah. Have okay. you seen how many dead raccoons and bats you found on the side of the road? Yeah, they're doing <laughs> just fine. I don't see uh, bats. I do see yeah, raccoons and cats. Yeah, yeah if you look for it. So um, also, I don't know if people know this. When you hear of pest control, that also includes like weeds and things that grow on trees. It's considered a pest. Okay. So there are different kinds of controls. I don't deal with herbicides. I deal with insecticides okay. and pesticides. So my business. Do you deal with like siblings and in-laws? <laughs> I got a guy for that. We can talk, we can talk off camera. Yeah, let's okay. not have that discussion on camera. Uh, you know. Anyway, so yeah, I deal predominantly in the um, uh, insecticide world. You know, okay. the cool. bugs and the, the rodents. Um, I will occasionally deal with a, a raccoon if I, I have a cage. I can deal. With, I am licensed for it. Okay. Uh, but I, I'm not going to try to drag one out of your chimney. There right. are other people who are way more qualified than <laughs> right. I am, and it is very. So expensive, you don't so. deal with the, the spraying of trees and things of like that. I do. Okay. You I do. do. It all depends too, because it, it depends on what you're wanting. For example, there are some folks who love their trees. You know, they have their cherry trees. Right. Beautiful blossoming trees. Um, other other fruit trees that they don't want the fruit. Why do you have a fruit tree if you don't want the fruit? Yeah. Well. A lot of folks who want this service are older. Yeah, no. They want the tree. They want the shade. They don't want the fruit. So I can actually spray your tree so it doesn't produce fruit. Are I can you do serious? that. Yeah, there are certain chemicals that you can use that uh, can kill. Sterilize when, it. Yeah, basically when they're, when they're blossoming, hmm. you spray the chemical. It kills that stymen, which is designed as the pollinator. Right. So you don't get any fruit. Interesting. But you still get the tree. Yeah, you still get the tree, but not the fruit. And it's not as common because people are like, oh, cherries and yeah, whatever. Right. But you ever seen the mess that birds make with oh, a cherry yeah. tree? Yes, absolutely. Well, you get rid of the cherries, you don't have the mess. Right. You still have the, the you still have the leaves, you still have everything. I do spray trees for other um, issues. Some people have box elder bugs, yeah. major problems with spray Have you tree. been able to get rid of those? Because I 100 percent no. Okay, I was gonna say. No. I thought you, you were saying yeah. 100 percent no, absolutely. Yeah. And I, was I like, can do it. No, there's a you can you'll find that of all the there are two or three particular insects, bugs out there that you will never get a 100% yeah. elimination of. Box elder bugs, about 85, 90%. Are they related to cockroaches? No. Oh, well, I'm so sure they're cousins. You know, it's Utah, yeah. right? We're all cousins. <laughs> so, so, we're yeah, all related. We're all related okay. somehow. No, but, you know, um, elm seed bugs and cock and uh, box elder bugs. Okay. They almost look exa exactly identical. They're just, elm seed bugs are smaller. Okay. They're airborne. If you've got an elm tree or a box elder tree within 500 yards of your home, you're probably going to get box elder bugs in one capacity, volume, or the other. Okay. I can spray your house top to bottom. You're going to see a pretty huge decline. Right. You're still. You're gonna still going to see the bugs. Okay. So we do guarantee our work to a certain point. Right. I mean, there's um, a certain thing where you can't get rid of certain things. You can't. But we'll, we'll knock them down. Spider mites, clover mites are another big problem. You'll never get rid of 100. I think I had a neighbor that had those. Like they're the little black bugs, right? Which one are you talking about? Talking about well, the elm so she, bugs? she was like, she had little like black bugs that were hanging out in her bathroom window. It could, could be a clover mite or a spider mite. Yeah, they're red their and life. they're black, and, uh -huh. and you can spray them. Yeah. Every day, it, it's all about moisture. When you when you're yeah. dealing with bugs, if there's a lot of moisture present, you're going to have more bugs. Yep. So those, especially the spider mites, are yeah, and it was in a, bath, a basement problem. bathroom, yeah, and they're she a just big problem. had a hard time getting. Yeah. And and we'll offer say, listen, I, I told you when you call me up, you say, hey, listen, I got a problem. I'll tell you over the phone flat out. Like This I can't is what can't. you're going to yeah. expect. It's going to cost yeah. you X amount of dollars. I'm going to do two treatments because it's going to take at least two to yeah. knock them back to where you're happy. But understand that you're never going to see them gone 100%. Yep. Once you catch a mouse, the mouse is gone. Problem right. solved. 
Except got, for his you, babies. Yeah, you can't, you can't, well, <laughs> don't hope you catch him before she gives birth. Um, <laughs> you, you're a certain pest that people don't need to be educated. And that's one of the things that I do. I'll spend a lot of time on the phone with people. Yeah. A lot more time than, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't have receptionist. Right. I'll, I'll take a phone call. I never know how long it's going to be. It could be 20 minutes. I'm answering questions, telling them this is how it's going to be. Yeah. And a lot of times I go, I'm going to go with somebody else. <laughs> Great. Yeah, because you told I them hope, the truth. I hope I just gave you enough information yeah. to not think that I'm lying to you. Right. I'm going to charge you a very fair price, but Well, you don't want to waste people's time either. And it's like, hey, because, yeah. I mean, it's like if, if you go into a house knowing it's not going to solve their problem, yeah. you're not doing well, a service. You get someone who comes to you with a, they're making $55,000 a year. And they want to buy a $800,000 house. <laughs> There's a real good chance they're not going to be able to afford right. that. You tell them flat out, that's, that's not going to work. We do a lot of that yeah. where we tell you people. You lose customers. You lose customers. Do. And the thing is, is you're better off. Yep. Because truth be told, if you don't believe me, I'm, I'm trying to be as honest with you as possible. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, that's like our business model where yeah. it's like we tell you what you need to do in order to qualify. Yeah. And we're very upfront, like, this yeah. isn't going to fly or whatever. That's the way to run the business. And yeah. unfortunately, in, in a lot of industries, and pest control is real bad, especially with the door-to-door -door salesman, they'll tell you whatever it takes to get that sale. Yeah. And more often than not, they will mislead you. They'll, they'll, yeah. they'll misguide you to tell you things that aren't true. Yeah, and like that they can get rid of mosquitoes Yeah, forever. we'll get rid of the brown <laughs> recluse. Guess what, America? In Utah, there's no brown recluse. <laughs> there are no brown recluse in Utah. So when they're telling oh, you we're going to yeah. get rid of your black widows, your brown recluse... Yeah. They're lying to you. Yeah. There's right. no brown recluse, black widows, yeah. But I, I pride myself on people. The fact people trust me. I'm Jeff the Bug Guy. They trust <laughs> Jeff the Bug Guy. Yeah. You know, they'll go to my Instagram page. I have all kinds of yeah, information. Yeah, tell us where they can find you. At Jeff the Bug Guy on Just Instagram. on Instagram? Yeah, or you we're on Facebook, on Facebook okay. under Columbia Pest Control Utah. Um, okay. I, I give informational videos. We try to have fun, you know, yeah. like I give instructional things on what to do before we show up. Yeah. Funny things. Um, can you kill moths? Yeah, absolutely we can. Depends on the kind of moth. It's just a little. There. You've got the pantry moths. Yes, you've I'm got the so clothes moths, and there are different treatments we can do. Dude, I and have. Yeah, that's we what have one bedroom in our house that we moved into that had little worms on the walls. Yeah, and then I just have little moths chilling in my house in different places now. Uh, mostly in the kitchen area, pantry. No, area? Okay. it was like in a bedroom basement that had nothing in it. Could be a clothes moth. Everything has <sighs> to be identified. We have. I have treatments for everything. We okay. have fumigants. We have sprays, aerosols. We have. Granules, we have everything, and unless yep. if I can't identify what you're talking about, well, there's a bunch of dead. I can't prescribe. Where's that's ones? good. Take a picture and send it to me. Take <laughs> okay. a picture. People send me pictures all the time. Yeah. My favorite thing is when people send me pictures of poop. What animal is this? <laughs> I love. You're like poop that's your pictures. daughter. <laughs> I love poop pictures. I'm like that's not a dog. That's a human. You've got a neighbor who's playing a tractable joke on you. But, you know, is this a mouse or is this a rat? Right. Put a, put a penny next to it yeah. and take a Tell picture. Yeah, how big it is. I'll tell you what it is. You know, I, I people just send me, Jeff, take a picture of your crab and send it to me. poop pictures Yeah, I get Jeff. a lot of poop pictures. Oh, well, you know, make sure it's appropriate. Yeah. But um, some of my what friends, you know, this some of my <laughs> friends think it's funny when they send me pictures they shoot and they go, oh, what kind of poop is this? I'm like, seriously, dude, come on. <laughs> you jerk. But, I love it. But um, no, no, send me pictures of your bugs and I'll okay. identify it for you and I can prescribe a treatment. But yeah. I can't prescribe a treatment unless I know what I'm dealing with. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. One of the hardest things in this industry is, is I'm not a doctor. Right. People will say, I'm getting bit by something. Well, send me, what send, is it? Send me yeah. a picture. Well, I, I can tell you you're getting bit by something. You're obviously having a reaction to it. Yeah. But, but we can't what find is the culprit. I, I couldn't tell you. I can tell you what I think it is, yeah. but I'm not a doctor. So without knowing what I'm, what I'm actually treating, I can't prescribe a treatment. Right. Because yeah. I, could, I could fumigate your house and it'll kill just about everything. Yeah. But by law, I have to know what I'm treating to use the chemicals we're using. Yeah. The, 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 on, yeah. on that note, so several years back, there was a bad thing where some kids died because yeah. the bug company used the wrong chemicals or what, what they happened? They were using the right chemical. Just in too high a concentration? In the wrong environment. Okay. My understanding is, and, and I we get this all the time. Yeah, because I was like, I want, you to, died in I want you to talk about it because, you know. Yeah, my understanding is this, and this is coming from the, the gentleman that I bought the company from, you know, in 2015, because he mentioned this to me. Yeah. Um, and I've learned about it over the years. The chemical that was used was a, um, it was a fumigant, okay. which is designed to kill rats. Um, I think it was called aluminum sulfate. You, okay. you toss it down the burrow. Um, it also works on pot guts and other, you know, uh, burrowing to, creatures. Mm -hmm. But my understanding was it had been taken off the market as a residential treatment type of chemical. Um, it was supposed to be used on secondary housing, cabins, mm. yeah, maybe rock walls. I don't know the details of that. But 
my understanding is it had been taken off the market. They used it in the wrong but way. But he used it in the wrong way, covered the hole, did what he was supposed to do if he was using the right environment. Right. The vapors seeped into the home, killed the Jeez. two girls. Yeah, and it actually it affected the pest control world for about three years. Oh, yeah. It really affected well, people. Well, because when people have come to me to want to do it, I'm like, what are you using? And, yeah, you know. 100%. And, and you have that right to know. Right. We have labels. Yeah. Thank goodness the internet's a wonderful thing. Yep. You call me up and say, I want to have this done. I have concerns. What are you using? I can text you or email you that label. Do you just have like any that. like really like natural ways to do things or is that just ineffective? I'm going to get a lot of enemies from the companies that do the natural. all natural right. organic. Sure. The chemicals that we use predominantly are derived from chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, which is the major py pyrethroids. Yep. Did it is because I've asked because she's smart and she, she she's educated <laughs> See, on says, she's like, smart yeah. on the things she she wants to know and that's a great question and I'm happy to provide that information but people say oh we're going to use oils and mints and things I have never met one person who's ever said that that was a really effective. valuable and effective service now there are those who have fears and I get that and I would never try to do something right. in your home that you're uncomfortable with sure. But if you want me to use like mint oils and things in your home, I'm going to say you're going to have to call somebody who specializes in that Yeah. because I don't do that. Right. I also don't charge $300 for a treatment because I'm using the all natural route. Right. But I don't have any confidence in it because I don't know enough about it and I've never heard good things about it. Sure. That doesn't mean it doesn't work. Right. But I don't know enough you about done it. Any... That I haven't done yeah. any. Because I, I know what I use works. I know yeah. it's safe. It's very regulated. Yeah, I'm sure. We measure it properly. We treat properly. And as long as you know going into it what the uh, challenges are and what the sure. expectations are and what the uh, things you should worry about are with your kids and your pets, it's very safe. It's yeah. very safe. I do it around my own kids. Right. I won't do it around your kids if I won't do it around mine. Sure. So you're safe with me. You're safe. So I know. <laughs> you're safe with Jeff. You're safe. Jeff the bug You're guy. in good hands. You're safe. <laughs> with Columbia Pest <laughs> Control. I got you. You got you. I got you. Um, so... Termites. That's something we have to have pest inspections for certain loans. VA loans, yeah. Yeah, so termites are not a big thing in Utah, but how often do you see them? They are a big thing in Utah. Really? Yeah, in certain areas. Because I was um, going to say, we've like, I think I've had one come back with termites. It's oh. rare. It's rare. We do, um, I have a company that I use uh, predominantly for my termite inspections. That's all they do is termite inspections. Okay. Utah termite specialists. Shout out, Rob. <laughs> they're, a, they're amazing. They're a phenomenal yeah. company. Um, but it's about a 3 to 5% that we find termite damage. Yeah. And it's predominantly old damage. Okay. In Roy, the termites are bad. Really? Centerville, uh, Bountiful, Kaysville, bad. Do you guys really? know much about the uh, the way you know, those areas were 40, 50 Bountiful. years ago? They were all orchards. Yeah. And then they come through and they cut down all the trees. Yep. And they build houses. Well, what's underneath the ground? Hundreds mm -hmm. of tons of roots and wood. Mm -hmm. The termites are rampant. Now, they're a little different in this state than they are in other states. We have the subterranean. We don't have the ones that fly, you know, from house to house. Right. They go from the ground up. So more often than not, we're not going to find termites. I mean, in fact, you know, the 150 yeah. termite inspections we do a year – Four or five come yeah. back as termites. One or two are active. Right. The rest are old. We got to spray because the VA requires a treatment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's well, like it's the VA a... requires like spraying before a home is built. Yeah, they they you do require the soil, soil treatments. And yeah. Stuff. yeah, and that's actually very lucrative. I yeah. I enjoy doing that. <laughs> it's it's very lucrative because it's yeah. it's really not necessary. Right. Except the VA, which I think if anybody's out there who makes the laws. Could the VA become a state thing and not a federal thing? Seriously. Every, every state is uh, yep. all by the same rules. Yep. They're not, every state's not the same. Yeah. Right. Coastal, humidity. Yep. Utah does not need that, that kind of, that kind of uh, detail, but happy to do it. <laughs> and, and that's actually, that's one thing that I've, I've actually, builders, I try to get out well, to builders. Well, it's required. I it, mean. It is. And I, I get maybe four or five of those a year. There's not yeah. a lot of guys who do that because it, it's not, it's not worth their time. Right. But it really is. It's just like, right. you want me to go out and spray a foundation? It takes me 20 minutes. Right. I use a lot of chem right. as labeled, but you want to pay me how much? We had, I mean, yeah, you know, we bang. had one transaction where the house had already been almost fully constructed, and we had to, like, go back and try to find who had done the, you know, the pest spray. Make sure someone spray did it. And make sure it happened and all this stuff. And it was kind of a pain in the... We can do, actually, we can do the treatments after the house is done, which is when I usually right. get the call. You can We do have a, to have it yeah. done before we can do the loan just to prove that okay. it's been done. Yeah. You can do, you can actually spray the wood directly, the studs mm -hmm. before it's covered up. 
More often than not, it's they call me and say, oh, shoot, house is built. <laughs> we need you to come spray. We need you to come and spray. Well, the thing is you can't spray. You've got to inject. Yeah. you got to inject. It's, it's a soil treatment. Very simple. Yeah. Doesn't take much time. Uh, so any of you builders out there, <laughs> yeah. I'm your guy. You're in good hands. <laughs> Jeff the Bug Guy. <laughs> You're in good hands with Jeff <laughs> the Bug Guy. Jeff the Bug Guy. Yeah. Okay. So with, I'm trying to think, what bugs cause the most damage for people besides termites? Like what are you seeing people having the most damage? Emotional damage? Well, or maybe physical damage. That would damage. probably be bed bugs. Yeah. <laughs> bed bugs, lice, fleas, oh. cockroaches. Um, oh. Dude, I lived in a, we sold our house up in Brigham and we moved into this little town home. You and then I the found story. cockroaches. <laughs> yeah. And I about came unglued because I just was so grossed out. By, and I was like, we stayed there for like two weeks. And I was like, we got to go. Like, we Roaches go. are actually not as hard to get rid of as you might think. See, I've heard that yeah. they're like, they'll be here after Armageddon and things they, like that. They do not die. I mean, I mean, they can survive just about anything. It's crazy. That Except and Twinkie, right? we step in. No, Twinkies <laughs> too. And Whoppers, right? Whoppers. <laughs> you love a good Whopper. Um, so, um, termites, I'm sorry. Cockroaches cause a ton of damage. They, they poop everywhere. They're disgusting. They're, they are disgusting. And, and unfortunately... Um, we, we tend to find that the, the biggest issues are in the lower income areas. Mm -hmm. People who can't afford new furniture, yeah. new appliances, they'll, they'll see a couch in a, by a dumpster and they'll mm. go pick it up because it's a nice looking couch. It's got bed bugs in it. It's got roaches in it. So I've, I've actually done roach and bed bug treatments in multi-million dollar homes. They travel, they catch them. Yikes. The predominant... Yeah. Area that we treat are lower income, and that's just the Don't nature of the. Don't they come up through like the sewer system? There and are stuff? certain. There are some that's roaches. Where they thought those mine are, were those are the from. American roaches. Blech. That's an easy fix. It's an easy fix. So roaches are moving. Simple. Yeah, so is moving. Yes, <laughs> burning it with down. a five percent increase in your interest rate. <laughs> that was different. That was totally cheap. worth it. Hey, that was that was years ago. <laughs> totally worth it. No, but I would say the 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 pests that cause the most damage, um, structural and damage. Of course, the carpenter ants and the termites. Um, roaches, because they do poop on stuff, and mice, they dropping. It's a hazmat situation. Yeah. When you've got an infestation of rodents, they're so gross. it's got to be cleaned up properly. It's disease. It'll make yep. you sick. I mean, people will say, I've had this mouse problem for a couple of years. I'm like, yeah, how foggy is your brain? They go, yeah, I have a hard time thinking. I'm like, you're breathing in. Oh, my gosh. Like, this really nasty toxin. Like, we got to call so it gross. hazmat. So, you know, more often than not, it's not necessarily the physical damage. It's mm -hmm. the emotional damage. People get very... It's hard for people to live with this kind of thing, especially See, when like, they're comfortable. I won't go outside in the summer because of mosquitoes. Yeah, and as well, yeah, I gotta get affected too. I mean, I <laughs> I, I hate I, them I, yeah. so bad. It's it's actually hard for me. I, I deal with some customers who are, they've been they've gone through company after company with issues. Yeah. I've got this one customer we've been dealing with now for just over a year. Just a sweet, sweet lady. Yeah, it's a hard situation. She's got a bunch of people in the house. She's had six different companies. I'm the sixth. Come out and try to get rid of her bed bug problem. Oh my Five. Gosh. Years, five years, she's spent thousands of dollars. Oh my gosh. We came in after one treatment, knocked them out. How do you kill them? There are different ways. Chems, fumigants, yeah. sprays, um, all that different stuff. It all depends on the situation. Don't they have to like remove everything and like... Some things it's almost best just to throw everything away. Yeah. Sometimes, but it, it's not necessary. Okay. Heat treatments are the most expensive way to go. Um, we use fumigations, we use sprays. Um, the challenge that you have is she's she's emotionally on this on this down downhill uh, road because she can't mm -hmm. figure it out. She got reinfested six months after we did our first treatment. And so I started talking to her like, like, like I from? should. I'm like, let's figure this out. Where do your kids go? Oh, they visit their their mother and they visit. I'm like, OK, let's inspect that home. Yeah. Oh, we went out. Of, we went we went out to uh, the Philippines for a few days. OK, great. <laughs> Let, let, let's figure it out. And yeah. a lot of times people don't walk through with their customers. Where yeah, did the problem like, start? Where did it you know, start? Well, we're just going to come treat it. Well, what are you treating? Let's figure out the symptom and but not just the problem. you got to find the, the source of it because it's no. like then you can actually stop it instead of yeah. bringing it right back into yeah. your house. If you've got a mouse problem, you've had mice off and on over yeah. the years, how are they getting in? Let's yep. fix that problem yep. and then we can fix the rest of it. Because if you don't fix the symptom, you're never going to fix the disease. And people, I, you know, we just talk. Just talk to Jeff the bug guy. <laughs> talk. <laughs> Talk. We'll He's figure got you. Take I will you. figure out, and you'll be in good hands. <laughs> let's figure out where the problem is, yeah. and let's let's fix it. And I lose a lot of customers because they want fix it now. I'm like I, I can't fix it well, without knowing. I don't think, and some people don't understand the bug life cycle. 
Yeah. That sometimes you have to hit them during certain cycles in exactly order to eradicate right. them. No, you're not. You're 100%. And that's the, the hatch cycles are very important to know. And do I know everything? No. I'll be the first to admit that. But I do a lot of study. I have yeah. to do a lot. And I've got very experienced technicians. Yep. And we go back and forth. How many, like, how many different trucks do you have? How many? I've got four cruise? trucks running. Okay. Probably getting a fifth this year. Nice. Very, very busy. Um, uh, but never too busy for your stuff. Yes, people. never no, no. too busy. I'll take, no, I, I am never, honestly, and that's, I'm never too busy to, to have a conversation with a customer. Yeah. A new customer, an old customer, uh, a, you know, a, yeah. a, a first timer. Uh, I've been training for 10 years. Yeah. You have a question, let me take the time to talk to you. Yep. If I don't have the time to talk to you in person, I will call you on my way to my next appointment and I will talk you through the problem. Awesome. Communication is key in any business. Mm -hmm. As you know, in the mortgage business, you've got to walk them through step by step. Yeah. Otherwise, something we're gets missed. We're always so surprised when people talk about different lenders they worked with and we're like, how does that person yeah, stay? How, how, how does it work? How did you <laughs> how, not lose everything? How could everything? you survive? Yeah. 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 My, my, my goal is to make sure people are educated. And sometimes yeah. it does bite me in the butt. It really does. Because people don't want, they just want to solve the problem. Yeah. So I need to know before I can solve the problem. Yep. Right. You know, the more you know, what is that, G.I. Joe? <laughs> the more you know, go Joe. <laughs> teach me so I can teach you. Do you remember G.I. Joe or were you too young Oh, you're too young for that. I was too young Are you born in the 90s? You're born in the 90s, aren't you? I was born in the 90s. Oh my gosh. What, what, year, what year are you born? 91. <laughs> I'm 78. Okay, you and I are just right there. <laughs> I was like in the seventh grade when you were born. Well, good, to, good for you. You look what great. What year were you born? 77. Okay. Yeah, I'm an yeah. old man. Um, GI Joe, man. Yeah, I mean, I but know what GI Joe Tony is. Scale, what was it? Felix the Cat. He, Woody Woodpecker. I mean, God, is. God. Cummy Bears. Oh. I know awesome who they stuff. are. Yeah, <laughs> I just didn't watch the shows. Yeah. I didn't really watch too much of GI Joe. It just wasn't my scene, you know. Oh, GI Joe was fantastic. I was in My Little Pony. There was a life lesson. I did like in He Every and He Man and too. She Ra when they came out. With she Ra. <laughs> Dynamic duo. Care Bears. The thing Bears, about, the thing about those shows. Bright. Think about those shows, though, back then. There was a message in every single episode. They really, it really was. At the end, G.I. Joe would come out and say, okay, kids, never yep. cross the street without looking both ways. That's why, the more that's you know, why we were you know? <laughs> such good people. Yeah, and still are. Yes. Still are good people. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, different good generation. People in a weird Dude, world. I tell you what, they're like Looney Tunes, the best thing ever. And they like want it to <sighs> be all like. that's all, folks. They want to act like, you know, <laughs> that you can't know that you run off the side of a cliff and that you won't fall. Like, come on. Yeah. Anyway. I love it. Tom so and Jerry. that's probably the section we'll cut out because I'm just kidding. I'm going to cut it out. No <laughs> way. Just kidding. Real. We're being real. <laughs> I'm just no kidding. Way. I'm just no. kidding. I love that I love stuff. It. I love it. So, no. okay. So the best way to get in touch with you, do you have a phone number you like him to call? The be So the phone number that I give out is my personal phone number. Okay. And you can call or text it. I do have a, another phone number that is to my, I have a new assistant. Nice. Who's going to be making, she's going to be scheduling things for me. I, I, I can't do it anymore. I've no, got you have calls. to have help. So uh, 801-292-1301 is my personal phone number. Okay. When you call that in about two weeks, it's going to say press one for <laughs> yeah. scheduling, press yep. two to talk to a technician. Okay. I'll be the one who you'll talk to likely. Um, even if you have questions, we have a website, columbiapest.com. Okay. That's columbia, C-O-L-U-M-B-I-A, pest.com. Okay. Uh, you can find us on Jeff the Bug Guy on Instagram, Columbia Pest Control on, on Facebook. Awesome. Check out our reviews. Ask questions. Like I can say I, information is free. Yep. Don't ever, I will always answer your questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'll figure it out. I mean, I have yep. resources, university resources, other technicians, other companies. We communicate a yeah. lot to figure out problems because uh, yeah. we want to solve your issues. That's what we're here for. We're here right. to take care of your bugs. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming in. I mean, me. it, I, I think it. great personality, yeah. fun to talk to. This is like the least derailed we've ever gotten. <laughs> just like you want to get derailed? On. Let's no, do it. I, let's, <laughs> let's have a conversation. You want to talk politics? Well, let's do that. Let's, oh, man. let's go there. Depends on what side of the most aisle. Popular, oh, yeah, yeah. Most maybe, popular episode maybe, ever. Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, maybe we I, should. No, I... I <laughs> After this, we'll talk and we'll see if we're on the Religion same. and politics. Yeah, you should never talk about those things. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for coming. It's Thank been you awesome. So people, it. get in touch with him. He'll take good care oh, of you. You're in good hands. <laughs> Jeff the bug guy. Jeff the bug guy.